What's going on everybody? Big James here with you once again. Now in today's episode we're headed down to the local tractor supply. I'm looking for a Coleman CT100U mini bike. Now why you may ask? Well as you know since we hit 500 subscribers we are going to the AHRA No Name Nationals at Jeffers Motorsports Park. Now one of the events here at the No Names is going to be what they call the Monkey Bike Challenge. And the rules for this are pretty simple, but we got to start off with a CT100U frame. So that's our first step in the process. I searched high and low all over at the Blava location, and I finally found an associate to help me out. Apparently Arkansas has some new strange laws that no longer allow them to sell the mini bikes at Arkansas locations. So I hopped in the truck and I headed over to Dyersburg, Tennessee. The No Name Nationals will have an overall winner based off of points. The different events include a small tire shootout, bracket racing, grudge racing, a random event that is secret until we get there, they're going to have a burnout competition, and of course the monkey bike challenge which is what we're trying to prepare for today. Now Dyersburg definitely had some mini bikes, but they only had one CT100 U-frame left. So I got lucky and I got to pick one up today. They told me to head around back to the loading dock and associates will get me all fixed up. This is my first time here at the Dyersburg location, so I had a little bit of problems figuring out how to get to the back dock. Once I finally figured out where I was going, I headed around and backed up to the dock. The good associates came out and helped me get my little mini bike loaded up. Appreciate it guys. Now I got back to the shop here at Still Missouri and I'm just checking it out before I get it all unboxed. I saw on the side of this thing it says it's made in America with American made steel. Now I'm assuming they're just talking about the frame because as you can tell the engine accessories and the, all the hardware is definitely not made in America. This thing has a little 99cc 3 horsepower motor, nothing spectacular. We're going to do all we can to make sure we win this race. We're just missing one little thing. Try to call him. It's paid to voicemail. Now I decided I'm not waiting on Lil James today. I'm getting this thing unboxed because I want to check it out. I got the frame pulled out. The whole box pretty much already assembled. You just got to put the front fork on it, which has already included the handlebars, and then put the front wheel on it. Nothing too major. This is where my inner child kicks in. I just got to turn everything, twist everything, and flip all the switches. Just checking it out, gonna pull the little seat cover off. Got a cool logo, Coleman CT100U on it, so we know we're legal. Here's instructions. Definitely won't be doing these. Try to call him again. Maybe we'll leave him a voicemail this time. Uh, yes, little James. This is Big James here at Mini Bike Warehouse. We was trying to reach you about your Mini Bike's extended warranty. If you would call me back at one eight hundred Mini Bike. Once again, that's one eight hundred Mini Bike. Thank you, Hatton. Have a great day. Maybe that'll work. I start getting this bike put together, and I notice it's got some very cheap hardware on it. As soon as I start taking this bolt out to put the front fork on, it's already galled up before I could even get it off. Kind of sad the quality of things these days, but we're going to get this bike fixed and we're going to make it right. It's hard to get a clear zoomed in picture of the threads of this bolt, but you can kind of see that the threads are already peeling their way off. This is what a Chinesium will get you. You can see the metal shavings piling up here on the nut and bolt before I can even get it all the way apart. And Lil James finally decides to make a guest appearance. What is this? This ain't no race. 
Nice hop. Well, you got up your sleeve. You gonna be riding it. Huh? <laughs> what you think, little James? Well, I'm all for it. We can make it go fast. Well, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Now, if you think that all the hardware and fasteners are going to come included with this bike, you'd be incorrect, just like me. So I headed on down to the local Napa. I had to get a quart of oil to finish this thing up, see if they had all the fasteners to bail us out. But as luck would have it, everybody at Napa, I guess, decided to call off today, so they put a note on the door, and they didn't even open up. How convenient. Oh, dirty. Now, one weird trait I have, it doesn't matter where I go. If it's on a handrail, if it's on a bus, if it's on a mini bike, if it's on a race car roll cage, I always gotta inspect the welds. For good, for worse, or for indifferent. Just a weird trait that I have. And these are actually on the decent list. I've seen a heck of a lot worse. They don't want you having no fun, do they? So right now we got some VP 10W30 small engine oil. Uh, we're gonna put some oil in it. Put a few, put some fuel in it and uh, see what we got. You put that choke on. <laughs> See, you're spinning the wheel now. Let me try to. Three hours later.
gonna kind of go over the rules for this monkey bike challenge. Basically, the frame has got to be that stock Coleman CT100U. That's why we bought a brand new one. We tried to find one on Marketplace, and they wanted more than what they was new. Uh, no lengthening, narrowing, chopping, or sectioning of the frame. Ballast. You can put ballast on it. Minimum of 230 pounds. We have to put a little bit on it. Little James don't weigh nothing. I think that bike weighs 80 pounds. What it said online. Engine. You got to have a stock engine, but you can do whatever you want to. So that's where that's where we're gonna do it right there. The only bad thing is you can't do nothing to the clutch. So it is what it is. Everybody got to run the same thing. You got to have a stock wheels. And exhaust don't matter. All right. On the gearing, you gotta have stock gearing. We can't change that, so we'll try to make it do what it do with that. Um, the weight, you gotta be 230 pounds, so probably have to add on some weight because uh, I didn't take my vitamins as a kid. Uh, fuel, you can run everything but nitro, uh, so we'll do what that do. Um, safety equipment, I think I just wore what I got on, maybe put on a football helmet, shoulder pads or something like that, and send it. 